Hi, I'm Dare Coulter. I'm an artist, I'm a sculptor, I'm a muralist, I'm an illustrator. I make things, I make art. I get to create stuff that doesn't exist in the world. And it's really exciting because my imagination gets to, to turn into things that are physical that people can touch and see and feel. I'm 30 years old. I've been drawing for a very long time. I started drawing because I wanted to be my older sister. I loved her so much that I wanted to be her. Art ended up being something that followed me through my life. When I started with art, I didn't know that I would end up making murals. I did a 200 foot long mural in Greensboro of black cowboys with Coda street art. It's the biggest piece that I've done. Before that, I did a piece in Fayetteville. It's a, this really, really long mural on the side of a building. It's right around the corner from the marketplace where they actually sold people who were enslaved. Painting the piece in Fayetteville was important for me because it's right around the corner from the market house where people who look like me used to be sold and purchased and enslaved. What it says to me is the importance of resilience, the idea that anything is possible. Public art is special because people get to encounter it no matter if they're looking for it. I get to put a piece out into the world that says something positive, it makes someone feel happy, it makes them smile, it, it tells them that they're strong. I get to make all of these things because I'm an artist and that's what I do. I'm a firm believer in the idea that picture books help people sort through life and their feelings and what they're thinking. Zora the Storykeeper is a really special book because it deals with grief. To have a picture book that deals with loss and dying. It's something that will bring comfort or peace to someone. This book was difficult for me. I long to be the person that's like in touch with people and you know, able to do the connection thing. I don't do that. There are people who are excited about genealogy and they keep up with it and they maintain those connections and those relationships. And I'm just not that person. So <laughs> I was excited to be able to work on a manuscript that does talk about ancestry and family trees because it is something that's really important. My mom posing as the mom model for Aunt B is one of the most complex things that I have experienced because Aunt B ends up dying and my biggest fear, my, I have two big fears. I'm afraid of dying before I accomplish what I'm supposed to accomplish and then I'm afraid of the what, what happens when my mom dies because I'm not gonna know, um, really not gonna know what to do with myself. Um, I love my mom, she is a friend, she's a great person and she's the reason that I'm the person that I am today. We all know that death is a part of things, but the, the other part of death that we forget to think about is the celebration, the remembrance of who it is that someone is or who it is that someone was. With these illustrations, I worked on them. Um, I worked on some of them in my studio. Um, they started as charcoal sketches or one of the pictures started as an acrylic painting. So its primary foundation is an acrylic painting. And then most of them were dropped into Procreate. Right now I'm in Toledo for the Claire's Day Book Festival, which actually is a festival that was started about remembrance. Claire was a 10 year old girl and she died and her parents created this festival to honor and celebrate her because she, she was an avid reader. She loved books. For this book, it's really appropriate because it's about remembering something important about someone that you loved. Being able to be mobile, to come talk to kids, to have a week where I've done 26 school visit sessions and I've seen I had countless kids. There was just one day where there were 572 kids and I don't know how many kids I saw total, but to be able to be mobile to come do my work here because it's on my iPad, um, because I'm working in Procreate, it makes it where I get to, I have more opportunity to come out in the world and fulfill my purpose because I can take my studio with me. So people are like, what happens to the art from your book? It's either on my iPad or it's in my house. I have a setup for sculpture, a setup for clay. I use whatever I need to make the thing happen. Zora the Story Keeper does not have any sculptures, but there's still, it's still a mixed media book itself. And um, I'm really excited to actually see it exist in the world. And it's a celebration and honoring of all the people in your life who bring you joy and you know make you smile. And um, they're special enough that they're stories for, for when they're gone, for you to remember. And Thanks so much for watching. You can find me online and more about my work at darecoulter.com or you can find me on socials at darecoulter.